Okay, so whenever you're creating a company policy, you have to insert the company logo and you have to apply any standardized company colors as well. So we're gonna come back now to the title page, the, the cover page, and you can see here that I've inserted the Evoke logo. Now, if you're using the Evoke company as your simulation, just simply leave it um, as, as you know, evoke, okay? I, we won't give you access to our logo there, so that'll be fine. But you can still make changes to the standard orange colors of our company. So if you are working for a company and you have access to a version of their logo, you can then make arrangements to save that under your pictures file and be able to insert that. So let me show you how that happens. We're going to go to insert picture. Now don't forget if you've got the logo, you've saved it to your pictures um, file there. So I've actually come into our pictures file and double clicked and you can see now that's actually warped it. So I'm going to grab the corner and make it a size so you know we're not distorting this part of the text. Okay. Um, you might even just leave the full name in, Evoke Training and Development. All right, so what you guys will definitely need to do is if you click down onto this section, um, I've just left clicked on there, up around near the top. You can see there's all different parts of it there. So we're just going to start at one end. Oh. Okay, starting at one end there. Now I've highlighted a whole section, right clicked and just gone into the little shape fill and we're going to modify that so the evoke look the closest thing you guys can get to the evoke orange is probably this burnt orange here okay orange accent six darker 25 percent it just yeah that's fine just make an attempt and then we'll just do the same for this one click on the box right click and it will keep the last shape fill color that you use. So just hit the little shape fill icon here. Okay, so we've added some of the evoke orange to that. That's, that's enough, that, that's fine. On our footers, we can also see if we can do that. Ooh, yuck, no, let's not. So to undo, just come up to the top, undo fill color, control Z. Let's see if we can manually just hold a part of it. There we are, right click, and we've placed a little bit there of the orange in. There we are. So we've got a nice corresponding um, colour there. Look, another idea uh, would be if you actually have a, a favicon for your company. Look, I'm happy for you guys just to leave it at that, but let me just demonstrate. We also have a favicon at Evoke, so I'm just going to double click on that area particularly again and delete it all. It's just however this one's been built in, in different stages and steps. actually look quite nice with that corresponding one so I might even go back to that all right so all right so there I'm going to go and insert another picture and use our evoke favicon insert There we are. So yeah, you add as much of your company's um, standardized um, logos and um, yeah, and that'll just formalize it up a little bit there.